Hello, everybody, coming to you live from the AVN 2023 Expo floor at the Joy City in conjunction with Brazzers booth. I have here the lovely Lulu Chu. Hi. Lulu, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. Yeah? Yeah. Is this your first AVN? This is my first signing. Okay. So I attended the one like before COVID and yeah. stuff, but I was just walking around. Right. So what's it like to sign here? It's a lot. It's yeah. a lot. You know, I had some practice at last year's X3 Expo, mm -hmm. and I did sign, but like... This is this is this is feeling bigger. There's a lot more people. I think everyone was just like raring to go after yeah. being shut up for so long. Yeah, and especially it's gonna get busier today's what Thursday, right? Yeah, so yeah. like it'll be busier today and then even busier for the tomorrow. weekend, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um have there been any like memorable fan interactions so far? Um I had to tell one guy to ask before he grabbed my ass. Yeah, that's a that's a problem <laughs> that we have is with consent here. Just yeah. because she's an adult star doesn't mean you get to grope her like an yeah. ass. You just gotta play it off like, oh, please ask first. <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunate. I'm so, and it's this is something like every girl has to deal with. It's such a bummer because yeah. I know some girls are super okay with the gropiness, right, right. which is fine. Like that's whatever totally floats fine. your boat. But then like other people are not, and it just comes down to like asking. So it's not hard to ask. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you feel like, just in terms of the ABN show in general, like a different vibe here than it was at the Hard Rock? Ooh, um, I don't have very good memory, so I don't remember much of the Hard Rock, but I I feel like I like the setup here better. It feels like a lot more open and yeah. spread out. Yeah. And I like that, definitely. Yeah, that's true. And also, what I like, too, is that you don't have to walk through the casino from your room to get here, which is really right, nice, because that yeah. was always, like, a real... It's a little awkward. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, um, are you going to the awards? Yes, I'm going to the awards. I will also be a presenter. I forget for which category, but I'll find out tomorrow. At the first yeah, time. you'll yeah. you'll figure it I'll out. I'll figure it out. <laughs> is there any particular category that you're, like, really excited to see, like, who wins? Um... I mean, always the Performer of the Year Awards, Hottest Newcomers. Um, I always love to see, like, whatever new names pop up, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Anybody that you're rooting for specifically? Um, everybody. Everybody. You know, everybody. That's I just a want good everyone answer. to have <laughs> happiness. <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> so in terms of, uh, how many scenes have you shot so far? Do you know? Oh, God. Like, in general, like an uh, estimate? I've completely lost count. I've been shooting for like almost four years now, so. Mm -hmm. A few thousand probably? I mean like at least a few hundred, at least. <laughs> <laughs> probably more than that. All right, what are your favorite kinds of scenes to shoot? Um, I love anything involving another girl. Mm -hmm. So if it's boy, girl, girl, or just girl, girl, whatever. Um, I just did a orgy scene with Belessa, and that was really fun. Mm -hmm. It was my first like full orgy, and they had a very like natural vibe set up. Okay. So we got to just like fuck around and have a good time, mm -hmm. no script. Okay, I that's love always stuff nice. Like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, how do you like doing features, or do you prefer Gonzo, where you just kind of get straight into it, or do you like like the acting and the line? I memorizing? like a nice mixture, you okay. know, because like with the Gonzo, you get to like have a little fun, a little creativity, but then like with the features and stuff, I do like the acting and showcasing that modicum of talent that I have. <laughs> <laughs> I always like, I'm always so amazed by your like your abilities to be able to um, memorize lines because mm, yeah. I'm really bad at it. I mean, I've written many scripts for mm -hmm. my own movies and I can't even memorize, remember the lines of the movie that I wrote. Like, I, no joke. I put myself as an extra in scenes before because I didn't, not because I wanted to be in front of the camera, but because I didn't want to pay sure. an extra because yeah. I got like shitty budget. Mm -hmm. Um and I'm like there, and I'm like, I don't remember my own lines. And everyone's like, you wrote the script. I'm like, I know, this is how terrible I am at this. See, it pays to be a nerd. I used to read a lot when I was a kid, so words just, they stick. Okay, yeah, that's good. Me too, but I just, I don't know. I have like the memory of a goldfish or something. I feel that. I feel so that. you mentioned books. Do you have any favorite books? Um, yeah, I read a lot of like young adult fantasy books 
because it's easy to read. Um, there's this one series I love. It's Court of Thorns and Roses, and then the Throne of Glass series. But then, um, more classically, my favorite book is Pride and Prejudice. Really? Yes. I love that. That's one of my favorites, too. I'm a big Jane Austen fan. Yeah, same. She's same. a pioneer of her time. Absolutely. That's really cool. Uh, what else do you like to do in your free time? Um, I'm a gamer. I game. I stream on Twitch now. So I play League of Legends and Genshin Impact, like all you other nerds out there. <laughs> and what's, uh, what's the Twitch experience been like for you? It was, it's been good. You know, it was a little slow at first, but, you know, promoting on social media, getting my views up. Um, I'm, like, almost path to partner. Okay. Cool. Um, I think I'm around to like 7K followers. We're having a good time. It's just vibes. Awesome. Yeah. And um, like what, because I don't Twitch, so yeah, I don't sure. really know how it works. So you play, I mean, I know how it works, but you play games. And I mean, do you have like these kind of deep conversations with people as you're playing games or is it all about the game? No, I actually have some really good conversations with my viewers. There was this one guy who I like helped with his whole girlfriend not girlfriend situation mm -hmm. sometimes we have little I like to call them therapy sessions with Lulu where we just talk about all our problems oh my god I love that <laughs> it's nice to be able to connect with people in that way yeah yeah I like it better than just the repeated questions of what games do you play like yeah how are you doing today yeah 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 absolutely um so what, I'm going to ask you just throw a couple random questions at you that I, you know, like to sometimes do to get a better sense of who you are as a person. Sure. Um, what is your greatest fear? Um, can I have multiple answers? You can have whatever you want. You're Lulu Chu. Okay. I would say first, spiders. Okay. Yes. That, fair enough. And That's then, a pretty um, common one. Second, dying alone. Okay. <laughs> that's very sad. I mean, that's a pretty, that's no, a pretty deep fear I feel, for a I lot feel of like people, a lot of people you know? have that. Like, yeah. I just, God, I don't want to die alone. Please don't let me. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is your greatest accomplishment in life? Um, getting out of Oklahoma. Yeah. Okay. That was real fucking hard to do, but I did it. Second greatest achievement, I got a 35 on my ACT. That's one score away from a, or one point away from a perfect score. Wow, that's fucking impressive. Yeah, yeah. That's really impressive. I'm smart sometimes. <laughs> when you were in school, did you, what were you, did you have an idea what you wanted to do when you were, like basically becoming a porn star, is this a surprise for you? Um, yes and no. I always thought I would follow the traditional like bachelor's degree, regular job path. Um, but you know, when I was 16, I was joking about becoming a porn star. So I, I think, I think I knew in my yeah. heart of hearts. <laughs> what 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 did you think that before you found your true vocation? Where, what were you thinking about doing? Like what what do you think you'd be uh, doing basically if you weren't doing this? Probably something boring like um, IT or mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe a lawyer. Yeah. My mom was a lawyer, so I'm like. Oh, yeah, it's not really your thing. So. Yeah. But hey, you know what? I mean, I was just talking to a Bella Danger who's going back to school for law now. So oh, like, you nice. could like it's this never could too late. happen. You're it's right. never, it's too, never late. too late. It's, it's absolutely late. never too late. Yeah, I've actually been thinking about going back for dermatology. I've been okay. like really into skincare. Recently. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I'm just so shit at science. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how it'll go. Um, what is a trait that you cherish the most in others, like in friends or a partner? Um. Respect, mm -hmm. a good sense of respect, not just for like because I matter to you, but like as a human. Yeah. You know, I feel like a lot of people kind of ignore the basic, the basic respect that we all deserve as humans. And right. Yeah. So that's that's a big thing for me. That wasn't very coherent. I'm sorry. No, I, that no absolutely makes a lot of sense. <laughs> um, what is a trait that like in others that you really cannot stand? Like what really. People that are Gets rude to service workers. Like, yeah. I, know it's like a I mean, that comes answer. down to the respect yeah, again. Yeah, but like, you know, they're just doing their job. Why are you yelling at them? They don't make the rules here. Yeah, that There's is. No point. That is that is like a truly a, d a disgusting practice. That's yeah, definitely it's the biggest red flag. Yeah, absolutely. I remember going on a date with a guy once, and he was rude to the service, and I was like, this no, is, this no, is it's absolutely over. the last it's date. Over, yeah. Yeah. All right, well, Lulu, thank you so much for joining us. It's thank such you a for pleasure having me. to sit with you. Yeah. Um, can you let everybody know where they can find you online? 
I am on Instagram at lovelulu2. I am on Twitter at lulu2official, and I am on Twitch at lovelulu2. Fantastic. Thank you. And um, you guys, of course, can find me at Holly Randall on Instagram and on Twitter. And also make sure that you go and follow Joy City. Actually, even better yet, go to joy.city and sign up for updates on the first erotic metaverse. This is really groundbreaking stuff. We're so excited to be bringing it here to you at AVN. And um, we've got really big plans in store. So get on that email list and get your updates. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.